activist investor, Dan Third Loeb, point. taking a uh, $3.5 billion stake in Nestle. A rather large stake, 40 million shares worth of Nestle, which he's been accumulating over time. But certainly he's an activist investor, so he's looking for ways to create value and unlock value. And so this story is just developing, right? The, the headline came out yesterday. The action is today. Nestle's is up, was up almost 5% right near the open. I think it's backed off a little bit, but still up 3.5 or 4%. Um, so that's going to be an ongoing story. But I think that speaks to not only Dan Loeb's opinion of what's going on in Europe, because he's got some other investments in Europe. He's got Unicredit, which is an Italian bank stock. He's got a German uh, utility company. And what he's, what he's starting to say, and what other people I think are starting to understand, is that the economic situation in Europe is is changing, turning for the better, and as well, there's less, there's much less now political risk after we've gone through uh, certainly Brexit. We've gone through now the Theresa May uh, election. We've gone through now the the French election and all the support that he's gotten. So the next big one is Germany. That's in November, but that's still a good four or five months away. So I think there's a lot going on, and that speaks right to that point. And does it say anything about where Dan Loeb might go next? What his next investment might be? Well, <laughs> listen, he's got some fairly large investments. I, sus I suspect he's got to pay attention to the ones he's got. So I'm not going to speculate on where he could go next. But I just think this Nestle, this Nestle news is going to be big news for a while. It's going to be a lot of conversation around it.